Hey, what up, Sans? Welcome to a new uh, video. And yes, this is a Super Metroid Let's Play. And this is on the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you want to find this, then just look to the eShop on the Nintendo Switch. But anyways, let's get right into it. Yeah, it's not a full screen at all. So this is just as best as it's gonna get right here. And so uh, this is the intro of Super Metroid. All right, so this is like the third Metroid game since it says Metroid 3. And look at that, you can see the Metroid uh, right there. And so, yeah, Super Metroid, and it was created in 1994, since it says, you know, right there. But anyways, I have no data at all, because I did not play uh, uh, Super Metroid here. So, this is the beginning, the absolute beginning. So, let's start. Okay. I first battled the Metroids on planet Zebus. It was there that I followed the plans of the space pirates, leader, mother brain to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. Dot dot dot. Oh, so this is like a flashback right here. All right. Okay. I next fought the Metroids on their home world SR388. I complete I completely eradicated them except for a larva which after hatching followed me like a confused child. Okay. All right. Yeah, the small Metroid I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Ceres, hopefully I pronounced that right, so scientists could study its energy producing qualities. Okay. The scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of the civilization. All right, and it shows that there. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt, but I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Yeah, so if anybody does not know, Samus is actually a bounty hunter, a space bounty hunter. Uh, okay, I, didn't, I actually did not read that. I said... Sarah's station something something all right so we're flying right there space colony all right so this is like one of the space colonies oh, there we go and now we could uh yeah play all right so i have 99 energy i played the other Metroid games before, like Metroid Zero Mission on the Game Boy Advance and Metroid Fusion on the Game Boy Advance as well. I actually did play Super Metroid here on the Wii, like way back when the Nintendo eShop on the Wii or whatever it's called was still working and it wasn't discontinued. I think it's better to uh, record gameplay here on the Nintendo Switch instead of on the Wii. So let's continue forward here. All right, so let's go down here. Okay. Oh no, oh no, something happened. <gasps> something catastrophic. Did the Metroid go crazy? Oh, and I'm not gonna say any spoilers here at all, by the way. All right, so here's the, the here's the Metroid. All right, um. Gonna happen oh no <gasps> ridley uh how did i point up oh all right there it is i'll take this Ooh. um Ooh. no wait how did i jump because 
Yeah, I'm using the joysticks as the control, so it's like kind of trying to figure out how Ooh. to jump. Ooh. Wait, is this how to jump? Okay, so that's how to jump. All right. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna die. All right. Emergency. Self-destruct sequence activated. Evacuate colony immediately. All right. So we got to go. We gotta escape. All right, let's -a go. All right, so let's go. Uh, we're over here. Ooh. Oh no! All right. At least though, uh, those don't damage you at all. Like you see right there, energy is basically my health. Ooh. All right, and those Ooh. don't damage me either. They just kind of um, hit stun, I guess you could say. Ooh. All right, it's tilting. Oh no! Ooh. Let's go. Up here. Um. Nope. Alright. And we have escaped. But that is destroyed. Oh, well, so we're going to planet Zebes because... I don't know, I guess... um We're going to have to find Ridley and rescue that small uh, Metroid. So we're here now. I, I don't remember too much of Super Metroid. I know like uh, in some areas to where to go. But I don't remember everything though. Here. Alright, so we got to get Morph Ball from what it seems like. Okay, right. You can't uh, destroy those. Right, so we just got to go down here. In here to this uh, door. Okay, not this door. No. Right, so we go down here. Right, so we go through here. Oh my. Look at this. This is like after the second Metroid game, I think. Because this is Metroid 3. And it was, you know, showing flashbacks. So this is like basically the aftermath here wow destruction i know there's something here i know there is okay maybe i have to get like missiles or something there all right so this was on planet zebes hmm all right so now we're gonna go down this elevator here And now we're like blinking while we're on the elevator because I, I don't know. Alright, so this is the beginning. Kind of like how they had it for Metroid Zero Mission. Because Metroid Zero Mission, this is where you actually start. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Super Metroid is like a remake of, of one of the Metroid games. All right, so let's go over here to this a uh, door. Open e door. All right, uh, let's go down here. Bam, bam. All right. Now through this door. Now we have to get missiles. That's the next one. Yeah, there it is. I got confused for a second because, like, I was remembering it like in Metroid Zero Mission. Um, it's not like that at all, like, that ball thing that you saw right there with the statue holding it, like, I was remembering, uh, Metro Zero Missions that, oh, that's how you get, like, your next beam or whatever, your next ability, and I completely forgot that that's how you also get, uh, missiles. Alright, now let's jump up here. Uh, No! And I do remember the red doors. Yeah, you have to use missiles on the red doors. All right, a little bit of wall jump. All right, how do you uh, use them? Millions of years later. All right, I figured out the controls. It's the minus button. All right, so that basically took all my missiles. Okay. Because then also in Metroid Zero Mission, when you see like red doors like those, it actually only takes one missile, not uh, two. Yeah. 
Alright, and I got the missile. Yeah. Alright, so now we go over here. And actually, I've already recorded episode one. But the problem is, is that I didn't record my voice at all. So I'm kind of, in a sense, redoing episode one right here. And so we already got the morph ball, the missiles as well. And so we go up here now to this elevator and we are uh, blinking for some reason every single time we go to the elevator i do not know why all right so we're here now and so let's go through this uh door and there's space pirates now here all right so let's go destroy the space pirates i already destroyed a few there and now oh. let me get some on my missiles so i have 10 now all right there we go and now full health too nope there we go. I know there's like something here, but I don't know what. But let's just keep moving forward and go back to that later on. All right, so now we go up here. There's space pirates right here. These are probably like one of the weakest space pirates ever because it's like literally one hit and boom, they're, they're, they're done. They just get demolished. They get exploded. Like literally, like Ooh. look at that. See, they just explode. <laughs> I, I don't know how that makes sense, but it, it, it does somehow. I mean, let's just wall jump up there. Let's keep going up. No, no, no. Oh, no. I want to have like stylish points by wall jumping up there, but it's not really working out too well for me. All right. Ooh. Okay, just fall down there. Ooh. Not too far down. There we go. Let me get some health. And keep going up. There we go. Yee, give me some heals. Almost at max health. Alright. No. There we go. Now we're gonna go back up here. To this door. I uh, destroy some of these enemies as well. There we go. Alright, now time to use uh, missiles. Since this takes about five missiles to uh, destroy these red doors or to open it. Alright, so there's these enemies. So let me just run past all of them and go through this blue door. And here's the map. Map data access complete. So now we can see basically everything here. And now before we go to uh, over there to Brimstar, again to that area, we gotta get um uh, yeah we gotta get the bomb ability before we go to the Brimstar area. Alright, so let's continue uh, forward. Uh, let's get that. You know what? Let's go a little bit forward since it's blue there. Yeah, let me just crouch go over here. Okay, never mind. I can't go to that area until like later on. Uh, so let's jump up here, up here. That's the save room, which I don't want to go there just yet. But nice to know that there is one there. Alright, so let's keep uh, jumping up here. Okay, that one you can't open at all. Alright, so we're gonna go down here now. Oh no, got hit by that. Alright, so let's just uh, destroy some of these enemies here. There we go, full health. And now use missiles. And this is the first mini boss i'm gonna call this mini boss i don't think it's exactly a boss i think it's just a mini boss so to use the bomb ability we just gotta go into a morph ball and then you know press x all right so uh are you gonna appear now yeah it's gonna appear all right no Ooh. all right <gasps> no okay No, 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 no. Give me, give, give me some of that. Give me some of that. Give me some of the missiles. No, some of this. There you go. Full health. Ooh. 
No, you have no head. And now that's gonna be it for the first mini uh, boss here. And let me just get all this full health, full missiles, everything. All right. Ooh. No. Let's keep running. Only took a little bit of damage. Only eight damage. All right. So now we jump up here, up here. So we finally got the bomb ability. So now we just uh, use this on here. Uh, there we go. And now we could go to uh, Brimstar actually. All right, which is in this direction. So let's go down to Brimstar. Ooh. All right, no. And ooh, my first energy tank. Da -na 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 -na. Awesome. Now I have extra health. Even though yes is energy there. Ooh. But I'm going to call it health though. Because I'm more used to saying health. Alright. No. <gasps> I, I, I literally missed like three missiles. I, I don't know why. I was being a little bit stupid there. Now there we go. Open the red door. Alright, uh, what is this exactly? Not sure. Let's go over here. Oh yeah, okay, so this is to show the the boss here. The bosses. So there's like four main bosses in total. That's why I said that last one, that bird statue thing was like a mini boss. Because those are the main four bosses that you have to uh, defeat here. That have glowing eyes of a different color. Alright, so let's go through that door. And let's go down to Brimstone now. Or Brian Brinstar. And now down this elevator. And I am uh, blinking once again. Like, I wonder why uh, when every single time I use an elevator, I just start blinking like that. I wonder why. And now here's Brimstar Ooh. here. Oh no. I took a little bit of damage. Alright, so we gotta open some of these uh, red doors. So I need some missiles. Can you like uh, drop missiles, please? Health is good, but I also want missiles too. No, get back here. Ooh. No. Oh, there we go. Only three. That's not enough. I need about five. So let's drop down here. There we go. And now there's five. And now let's go through this uh, red door here. Alright, so this is actually going to be the end of the first episode of this Let's Play. So anyways guys, that's going to be all for today. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe if you're new. Also, turn on notifications so you can get notified of new videos.